Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and in this video we're going to take a look at the differences between a VCA track, a bus track, and an effects track in PreSonus Studio One Professional Version 3. I get this question all the time, what are the differences, why would you use one over the other? So I'm going to try to quickly show you that today and then you can make your decision on how you want to uh, use these three types of tracks inside of your projects. But before we get to the, uh, to the tracks here and we talk a little bit about each one and how they are different from each other, if you like what you see in this video, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously and I super appreciate it. Also go out to facebook.com slash home recording made easy and follow me there as I'm always putting content on there that's not necessarily a part of YouTube. And as always, for more tips, tricks, concepts, and training around all aspects of home recording, mixing, and mastering, please head out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Check out the Made Easy series and the Quick Mix series as they will help you make better mixes and productions in your home studio, I promise. So now let's take a look over here at Studio One and let's take a look at what we have. So we just have a, a bunch of raw audio tracks up here. This is not mixed or anything like that. And we're just going to take a, a look at maybe the drums and the bass today. So as you can see down here in the bottom uh, part of the console view in brown, I have my drum tracks here, kick, snare, hots, toms, and overheads, and I have a bass guitar here. The rest of it's all going to be turned down and muted, okay? So the question is, let's take a look at what a VCA track does. Now, this is something that's new to version three of Studio One. Prior to that, you didn't have VCA tracks like you do in Pro Tools and Cubase and some other DAWs. You would use bus channels. And what a VCA track basically does, it allows you to take a group of uh, individual tracks. In this case, we'll take a look at drums. And you can route them to a VCA track. And a VCA track will let you control the overall volume of all those drums. So let us uh, let me show you that in real in real world example here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the kick drum we're going to hold our shift key and then click on overheads and we're going to highlight these five drum tracks and then we are going to right click and you'll see there's a pop-up menu that comes up and we have a few different choices here we have add a bus track a bus channel add an effects channel or add a vca channel okay you can do that um and, and it'll put one of those tracks there uh, or you can say add vca for selected channels which is what i like to do we highlighted all our channels so now let's go to add vca for selected channels Okay, and you can see I put a VCA track right here and it has a red fader cap. Now the difference, and you can see that um, when I play back this, let me turn down the bass, if I play this audio back, you can see that all the drums are being routed to the VCA already. We didn't have to do anything. It's already being routed there because we chose that in the drop down menu and you can see on the individual tracks it says VCA1 right here. Okay, now I can double click in this VCA and I can change this to something that's more recognizable. In this case, let's do drums. Okay, and then you'll see that now on each individual track, it's showing that it's being routed to the drum VCA. Okay, now quickly, let me just show you, if we were to just uh, highlight these tracks, let's delete this for one second, we'll go back. So I wanna show you the difference. If I highlight and just say remove, okay, now you see that it's gone away. Now, if I were to just highlight these tracks here again and right click, if I don't go to add VCA for selected channels and I just say, or just choose, add VCA channel, it'll add that VCA channel. But as you can see, none of the drum tracks are routed to it. Why? Because we didn't choose add VCA for selected channels. Okay, I get that question a lot. So now the way, so the easiest way, we'll just remove this again, is if you wanna route all your drums in this case, highlight them, right click, four selected channels, and as you can see, once again, it says VCA1. We can double click, and we have our drum VCA. Now, if I play this audio back, play the audio back, <laughs> you'll see that it's going to the VCA. Okay, now, when we take this fader and we turn it down, you can see that all the individual drum tracks, all the faders on each individual track moves along with the VCA but it keeps the relationship between the tracks intact. So in other words, if I were to do something like this, moving all these faders around, okay, and now do this, see how the, see how the relationship between the faders stay intact? So it, it, it keeps your mix between those individual tracks intact. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so now that's how we do VCAs. Now let's say, um, we wanted to create a bus track and people say well we have a VCA that controls the individual faders now What's the difference between that and a bus track? So let me show you that for a second So I'm gonna just go I'm gonna leave this here, and I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna highlight these drums again I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go add bus channel for selected tracks now Here's our bus and we can change the color of that so we can see it and we'll call this drum bus Oop. Okay, now if I were to turn down, let's see, if I were to play this back again, play this back. 
Okay, I muted the VCA. Okay, because they're routed to the... Okay, let's on let's delete the VCA first for a minute so you can see the difference. Now this is this is just going to the bus now. So now when I turn down the fader on the bus track, you can see it just turns down the overall volume. It doesn't move the faders. Okay, so the difference between a VCA track and a bus track or a bus channel is that the fader on the bus just turns the volume up and down. The VCA will move all the individual faders on each individual drum track and it'll keep the relationship between those faders intact. Okay, that's the difference. The other difference is, if I were to go ahead and add another VCA, let's add VCA again. Okay, add VCA for selected channels, okay. And we'll call this drums. Oop, just gotta double click here. Oh, there we go. Okay, once again, it'll turn down all the faders. But as you can see, when I expand the mixer view here, you can see that on a bus channel, you can send, you have a send option. Where on the VCA, you don't have a send and you don't have an insert. So on a bus track, you can add effects as an insert and you can send it off to another tr another type of processing, let's say for parallel compression, for example. You can't do that with a VCA, as you can see. Okay, so that's the difference between the drums a drum bus or a bus track and a VCA track. Now, some people ask me about automation and say, well, can you automate either one of these tracks? And the answer is yes. And the way you do that is, if you come up here to the edit screen over here underneath our tracks where my cursor is, and you just right click, you can add an automation track. Okay, see this add automation? Okay, now there it is, track 12 is the automation. Let's just make that wider. Okay, now if I were to, um, if I were to, uh, drop down on this drop down arrow, we go add and remove. Okay, now this gives us an opportunity to say, well, what do we want to automate? Okay, we're added automation track. So you can see over here in the console view that I have uh, drums, a VCA, and I have a drum bus. So I can automate either one. So if I just click on drums, which is the VCA, and click on volume and hit add, now we can automate the VCA. If I wanted to just do the drum bus, I can do the volume, the pan, or mute on the bus, which you can only do volume on the VCA, okay? So that's a little bit of another difference between the two. So if I wanted to just, let's say, do the volume on the bus, I can add that. And now I have a volume, I have a, um, an automation lane for both, um, for the for the volumes, uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for the drum bus and for the VCA. Okay, so you can add automation, but you can only automate the volume on a VCA, but you can automate the pan, the volume, or the mute, or all three, if you just wanted to say add, and then come over here and add. And now on the bus, you can see we have the volume being automated, the pan being automated, and the mute being automated, but on the VCA, it's only volume, okay? I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna remove that track, okay? So you can automate both. Those are the differences between bus and VCA. Now, some folks have asked me about the effects channel. What's the difference between this all and an effects channel? Okay, so let's take a look at that now. So if I just wanted to right click uh, over here somewhere and just say add an effects channel. Okay, here it comes up here, effects. I'll change this to, uh, I'll just change it to a different color so again we can see it. Uh, let's just click here, not get crazy with the mouse. I like to keep my effects in blue. And you can see it has a little FX down here in the bottom right of the, of the channel strip. That's the effects channel. Now what can you do on an effects channel that you can't do on the others? Well, once again, on the uh, bus, did I remove our bus here? Let me just, uh, this is the drum VCA. Let me just add a bus track one more time, just so we can see the three. And then we'll call this, this is bus drum bus. Okay, so now we have a drum VCA, an effects, and a drum bus. And I'll change the drum bus to, uh, let's say, a different color, okay? So now what's the difference? If we expand our, our view here, again, on the effects, you can add, on the effects channel in blue, you can add inserts, but you can't use a send. There is no send. Where on a bus channel, you can do effects, inserts, and sends, okay? And again, on VCA over here in black, you can't do either. Okay, and the, black, and the VCA has a red fader cap, the effects has a blue fader cap, and in this case, the drum bus has a blue fader cap, and I believe you can change the colors of those fader caps in the preferences window somewhere, but that's for another video. Okay, so now where would you use an effects channel? Well, a lot of people will use it when they're gonna um, set up a reverb and a delay and send a track to that effects channel. 
I don't typically do that. I don't even use effects channels because I like to send my effects to parallel compression a lot of times. So what I do is I don't even use the effects channel. I just use bus channels and then I have the option of being able to send them if I want to or add inserts if I want to. And a lot of times I'll just use bus channels as opposed to VCAs. I, I don't usually use both in a session. Um, I don't really find that I personally have a need to be able to turn down all the channels like that. Usually the overall volume is good enough, but that's a generalization. Sometimes I'll use VCAs if it's an awfully large sessions and let's say I have horns or strings where I have 20 tracks of strings. I may put those on a VCA to be able to control the relationship between all of those where a bus channel won't give us that. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. That is the difference between a VCA and effects channel and a bus channel in Studio One Professional version three. They are all similar, but they do have differences. And depending on your workflow, you may use one or the other, uh, but I wanted to uh, separate that. And again, you can automate all of them. You can even automate an effects channel as well, just by adding that automation track like I talked about a few seconds ago. The only difference is inserts and, and sends is really the biggest difference. So I hope that video was helpful. If you like what you saw in this video, please hit that subscribe button, share this video with others, get on Facebook, hit me a like, give me the thumbs up, follow me on Twitter. And until the next video, this has been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com and I'll speak to you guys all soon. Take care.